Hey, this one little episode comes from the heart, from from being frightened and scared to the need to to be, being and striving to be the best we can. It all came all together from synchronicity, coincidence, from reading, from listening to writing about it and then bringing it all to you. And it all came together at 8.24 this morning. Do you want to know what it is? It's something that I believe we could change not only you, not only me, but everyone around us. And if we did, the world would become a better place. I just hope it's not too serious. Can you be too serious? Have a listen. Warning. 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 You are entering into the unplugged mind of Paul Clough. Clough. Too late. Personal development unplugged. Hey friend, how are you doing today? I'm in a weird place. A weird place because, well, it's like serendipity, coincidence and all that. I was I was writing in my journal because I entitled this being striving but it's really about being frightened and scared let me give you a little bit what i'm scared of what i'm frightened of is i have three children love them to bits and i'm I'm, they're they they get not that they're young men and they've got families and they're they've got to be in this world for quite a few years but there's grandchildren there and i just Starting to think, what is this world? This world that we're living in now, how is it going to be in the future? And it's got to change. Hasn't it got to change? You see, what was a serendipity thing? Well, this morning, there I was in my journal. And I've even got it here for you because I want to read it a little bit. Just read what I wrote because it just... And it's... Okay, it's unedited. It says, 20th of May, Thursday, 8.24 a.m. And it says, I missed the first little bit out because... something I was doing and then it says it's strange as I try to engage in the four agreements I'll talk about those in a moment but the four agreements are just a a way to strive to be to be something which is I think quite special but would make such a big difference to everyone and as I'm doing that I read looking on completely out of character where I'm looking at something and I get to see 50 stoic suggestions Ryan Holiday Now, I love Ryan Holiday, but I don't read too much of it. But then I saw this and I just read them and I thought, well, these are just expanding, expanding on those four agreements. And then I wrote, and then I listened to a a podcast about being, about the present day to being what I would say is just being a good human being. Now, this podcast was by a guy called Sam Harris. If you've heard of Sam Harris, again, some people like him, some people don't, but to me, a lot of people don't like him because he's he says some really sensible stuff. I have trouble. I don't listen to him when I go to the gym because you really have to listen because he is such an articulate man and, and deep thinking man. And on this podcast with Jordan Harbinger, it was called the Jordan, Jordan Harbinger Show. It was pretty good. But Sam Harris, I'm not reading, by the way, now. I'm just talking as it comes. Made so much sense about trying to pull the world together, taking away and questioning why do people use vitriol, vile, horrible criticism to make a point, to to edit things in a way that is just not true. In fact, it comes from, you know, if we take the big general, there are countries trying to infiltrate, as it were, other countries on things like bloody Facebook to try to influence people with horrible ideas. The left is the left, the right is the right. Why can't there be something that is good good for people and i didn't understand that and this is what i wrote i just don't understand why these in some form aren't taken to heart why the many or everyone i know that's me being wishful thinking that's me in brackets talking now if they did if they did take on these things like the four agreements those stoic suggestions the nl the presuppositions of nlp the type of things that sam harris was was saying 
about trying to find a way, then little old planet Earth would be somewhere where we, we would like, I, I guess, create a heaven on Earth. And I know I'm thinking way, way out there. People are going to oh, you're getting soppy now, Cluffy. But isn't that what you're going to try for? Because if we did, and what I wrote is that everyone and they did, planet Earth would become alive with love and energy of real freedom of the nicest kind. What is it that doesn't compute, that not striving to do, to live this way, will and does lead to tears? And tears is just a, is a very gentle way of saying a big fuck up. And I think that's what, what's, well, is that happening now? Why is it that the few are using this horrible way to try to influence the mass? And why isn't the mass standing up and saying, no, just piss off. Let's get real. Let's get into a place where we can be living like the four agreements. What are the four agreements? Let me just, I'll read them to you. Because I carry this little piece of paper now in my pocket to remind me of things to strive for. Will I ever be able to do these? I don't think so. But I'm going to try. The first one is be impeccable with your words. Impeccable, faultless in your words. Think about, and that's not just the words you say, it's the words that you say to yourself. Now, I heard about this from the Joe Rogan podcast. Isn't there such a wonderful, a wonderful wealth of ideas and sharing? He just mentioned it. And I thought, well, I'm going to read that book called The Four Agreements. The first agreement to be impeccable with your word. Now, if everyone strives to be impeccable with the words, the words they hear, the words they say to themselves and the words they say to others, wouldn't that be great? I mean, in my NLP practice, I was taught to listen to what you say. And if you can listen to it and you, and you don't say it the way you want it, stop, change it, tell people. I didn't mean to say that, I meant to say it this way. Wouldn't that be an awesome thing? And that's just a start. The second agreement, don't take anything personal. Because that's how things happen. How the negative reactions, I think, happen when we take things personally and they're not even meant personally. Because if people did try to be impeccable with their, with their words, how could you take anything personal? Apart from it's good. Hard to live up to. Because it's a natural thing, isn't it? Natural to take things personally. But if we could strive to be in this way. The third agreement. Don't make assumptions. Isn't that just the most natural thing that we don't do. We make assumptions all the time. And when we make assumptions, then we say stuff. And then we take take what we hear back personally. But if we didn't make assumptions and we were impeccable with our words and we didn't take anything personal, wouldn't that be awesome? Is it easy? It's easy to read, easy to understand, pretty damn difficult to do, but anything that's worth having is worth putting the effort in. And the last one, Albie Einstein would have said something like this because it's so simple. Do your best. So if you do your best in to do those those three first agreements, you'd be awesome. Just think about it. If you just strive to do your best in everything you did, yeah, you'd never do it. You can because perfection isn't isn't there. But if we strive to do our best and when we look back and go, well, that wasn't, you know, I didn't give my best there, I can learn from it and do something about it. To me, that would do something. And you put together with like those. The, the 50 stoic suggestions which are just uh, just taking on all sorts of wonderful so simple thoughts about trying to be trying to be a good human being you know can i know i can't i can't honestly say i every day i sit down and go do you know what i'm going to be a good human being but i really love it if i could and i will and i'm going to strive to do that and i wonder i'm, I'm not going to try to suggest that you you strive to be the same but i'd like you to consider it just consider could I strive to be the best I can in everything I do? Could I strive to not make assumptions about things? Because when we make assumptions, we, we very rarely are they, are they real, aren't they? Because they're, they've got that you've got conscious bias. You've got all sorts of things going on in your world. In your, in your world. It's you, because you think like the NLP presupposition, the map is not the territory. And you assume in accordance with your map. And it's not the territory. You know, you've got your world, I've got mine. But neither of them are inked in. They're all filtered by our experiences, our beliefs, our values, our identity, which is made up from those. There's that deletion, distortion, generalisation that just 
is natural. But if we can strive to be our best and not take things personally, wouldn't that be awesome? Especially if we didn't take it personally. And we were impeccable with our words. Looking for data, saying the right thing. Listening to people of a different, different, coming from a different place with a different set of ideas. Listening to them, understanding them. You don't have to agree with them, but listening. Having dialogue. Having sensible dialogue. Not this vitriol that comes out from some people. And, you know, done with an agenda. And the agenda isn't, let's make the world a lovely place. Heaven on earth. I don't know where that came from, Cluffy. I'm not religious. But that's what we should strive. Shouldn't we strive for that? What would happen if we did? That's the thing. That's what gets me. When we ask good questions like that, what would happen if we did? I can't think of a negative. Can't think of a negative. So what would you do? You see, I, I carried on writing, by the way. And I was writing things like, what things inside of us? And when I said us, I meant my conscious mind and my unconscious mind. Us, you and I, need to help to let go of the negative beliefs and emotions and their associated behaviours in not doing our best, my best. Because I know that there are things in my, my experiences, my filters, my beliefs and values that I need to learn from, to let go. And I wrote to myself, I wonder how you could begin to bring to my attention, this is to my unconscious mind I'm writing, these parts that need attention and support in a way that will make the most difference. And I work on one that the, and the others can just watch. Watch and listen, or even take part in, to accelerate my evolution. Never perfect, but always striving to be better. Sounds good, doesn't it? The sounds good, by the way, is what I wrote to myself. That's my personal little bit from my journal from this morning, 8.24. Cup of coffee, listen to a bit of music, and just letting it flow. But the, all these things came together because I was listening to that podcast while I was walking the dog at about 8.15. And I don't know where I'm going with this podcast because, you know, my grandchildren came to mind thinking, I'd love to instill this type of value, belief, you know, everything's possible in a good way. Strive to be a good person. And then the world be a good place for their grandchildren. Why is there, you know, I ask myself, why is there so much greed sometimes, greed and envy in the world? Can you explain it? I can't get my head around that really can't but I know it's there and I know what good does it do what was it I can understand there might be positive intentions which is like oh I'm going to protect myself so I'm going to be vile because that way I can you know be aggressive and that will keep keep me safe but there's a massive conflict there isn't there because those people do not feel safe you know why will people write on an internet thing under the anonymity and say things that they would never say to a human being. To their face, that is. I just can't get my head sometimes around that. I know, as I say, every behaviour has a positive intention for that person. But surely we can set an example to those type of people en masse, where good deeds, selfless service, sharing ideas, for no want whatsoever, you know, that... The law of reciprocation, reciprocity, happens anyway. Good karma, law of attraction, send out good frequencies, good energy, and you'll attract, you know, reciprocation. I just don't understand. Do you understand that? I just don't understand how people can use negative things to be for betterment and think it will ultimately lead to a better life. Is it there, Andy Warhol, 15 minutes of infame? If there's an infame, but it's supposed to be fame, I know. But this is just me rambling because it just got me this morning. And then I put it aside for a little while and then it got me again while I was just sitting there doing nothing. And then all of a sudden I've got half hour free. So I thought I'll come into this little, this little computer recording bit I've got in the garden and just lay down a few words. And I know they're not impeccable but the intention behind them is so positive. All these wonderful podcasts and people are about, I think, sharing good things, good, not necessarily just good advice, but they are sharing good things that they actually do by example. And they show it every, every time they speak. 
I just wonder how can we, with a sense of energy, bring forward that type of community, a community, a communal energy that will create the difference. And I know it's like that one butterfly. We've talked about that so many times, that one butterfly. We've got to flap our wings because when one butterfly does it and then another and then another, that connection grows and we then, obviously, we bring up a storm of good vibrations, of good good karma, good things, good examples. Be the example we want to see in others, I guess. All these lovely memes, but they're, you know, those type of memes, I guess, are, are true, aren't they? If we strive to be our best, isn't that the example we want to show our children, our grandchildren, other people's children, other people's grandchildren? To have faith in good things and good people. It's a big, big ask, isn't it? It's a big ask because there is a lot of, I guess in inverted commas, a lot of evil around. A lot of bad stuff going on. But I think we have to make the difference. It just pisses me off. That we just don't even need to think about it, but we do. Or do we? Do we think enough of it? So here's my challenge. My challenge is, my challenge to myself is to live by those four agreements and the, the presuppositions of NLP that I love so much. Those stoic suggestions. Because these are all suggestions that have such a positive effect and result. And my challenge to you is, what could you find a standard to live by, to strive to be, that would create good things for you, good things for others, and good things for little planet Earth. To be the example that you would love to see in others. If you were looking at yourself, you would say, that's a good person. They're striving to be good there. They're a good human being, and they're being human. Doing a good, good job as being a human being. And guess what? They're also doing it for no, no want of return. Wouldn't that be good if you were seen as that? I think so. Anyway, I think I have gone on long enough. I hope, I hope this hasn't upset anybody. It's just me letting off, letting out. And far from being anywhere near perfect, I've got so many flaws, so many things that I need to work on. But I do not. There's a but and an end. And I work on them every day never-ending adventure of evolution to not only to find the real Paul but let that real Paul out so we can both enjoy him and I want you to let you out so we can both enjoy you too hope that's not too much to ask is it I mean a smaller ask would be to share <laughs> where do you get that from Clubby to share this podcast ask it every time why not share it I'd love your feedback you know is this type of this little bit going too much if it's too much just let me know but if it's the type of things that you would like to share too, please do send me an email. Send me a little audio. Maybe we can include a little audio. It just, just came to me. If you sent me a little MP3 for just a couple of minutes of, of what you'd like to see good in the world, I'd love to do like a, a an episode or just have those as a little clip in a, within an episode. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? You could be anonymous. I just thought about that and I think that'd be great. And then we could share that too. You want to share the love. I mean, even just as a, just an aside, this is an aside. I had to get something signed. So I gave it to my friend to sign it. And he kept panicking because, I'm sorry, Paul, I haven't done it. I haven't done it yet. I will do it. I can't do it all now. I will do it. And he said, oh, I'm going to, we've done it now and I'll drop it around for you. And I said, oh, you're, you're a star. Hugs. And he's a mate of mine, but I put hugs. And he come back and said, hugs back to you, mate. Love it. And that just means there's a better connection. We, we are doing, you know, if everyone did that, because it made me feel good doing it, made me feel good getting it back. I know it made him feel good getting it. Little things. Just saying hugs was an impeccable word. Okay, he might have assumed that it's a good word, but it was. He might have taken it personally. See, there's, there's, there's so many ways you can look at, don't think, take anything personally, but hey, just being the best you can. So do share this episode if you... If you can, if you please, if you would share your critique, your thoughts, your wins, your good stuff that you'd like to see in the world and what, what you would personally do. One thing, what's the one thing that you could strive to do that would make this world a better place? 
I'd love to hear about it. I'd love to hear it in Word, an MP3. You can attach it to an email one way or another. Feedback at personaldevelopmentunplugged.com. I mean, even if it's too big, you can always go, there's a lovely site called wetransfer.com. They'll do things like that for you by email. Awesome. Anyway, have more fun than you can stand. And to you, my friend, here's a hug. Okay. Enjoy. Warning, you are now leaving the unplugged mind of Paul Clough. It's time to fly on your own. Be brave, my friend. Personal Development Unplugged.